intrauterine insemination IUI is good options for individuals or couples who are relatively younger, generally less than age 35 or 38, relative adequate sperm count, nothing that potentially might block sperm meeting the eggs, so good fallopian tubes, good uterine evaluation. Taking kind of the whole picture patient's kind of care and account, there are certain scenarios that IUI might not be beneficial, especially if you are older, poor or low egg count, poor sperm or low sperm count, or potentially blocked tubes or something anatomically that might block an egg from meeting a sperm. So intrauterine insemination is, best comparison is probably kind of like a pelvic exam, a pap smear, but a little bit more entailed. So the provider, doctor, will be visualizing your cervix. Sperm will be carefully prepared and washed where all the movers, the moving sperm, are collected and carefully placed into a uterus, kind of giving a sperm kind of a head start to potentially meet an egg or more. Medicaid IUI cycles entails a female partner taking medications to potentially improve ovulations or sometimes making or growing more than one egg. Generally, most medications are either oral medications initially, such as clomiphene citrate or letrozole. One of the major risks of medicated intrauterine insemination IUI cycles are generally in the case where potentially more than one egg grows. But for the most part, the chances of multiples twin risks is approximately 8%. In regards to why we consider twin pregnancies and multiple pregnancies potential risk in the medical world is that they're just unpredictable and we just can't control potentially the risk of potentially prematurity, other issues for mom. So our goal ultimately is a healthy family for our individuals and our couples and ideally that means one baby. Depending on different factors, especially age, IUI success rates can range from approximately 5% to about 15%, so setting appropriate expectations. Common misconceptions when it comes to IUI and treatment insemination is that it's an option for everybody, not the case. So before you embark on kind of developing that treatment plan for your for for yourself or for your you know together as a partner, is that you really want to make sure that you've gone through the full fertility care evaluation, looking at ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, as well as sperm before you develop that plan with your fertility specialist.